Hey guys, welcome to another video for the Redmi K40, the Poco F3, also known as Mi 11X in India. Today we are talking about the unofficial version of .OS version 5.2, for which you recently saw an install video. Now in today's video, although we will not have the benchmark numbers, because I did run Geekbench and the CPU throttle test, and probably something is wrong there, but we will look at the features. We will see how highly inspired this particular ROM is from Android 12. But before we get into all of that, if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit the notification bell icon so that you get notified every time I upload a video. In the description of each video, you will find a link to our Telegram community where you have more than a thousand like-minded people chatting with each other, so join us there. Last but not the least, if you think the hard work is worth the effort, please click on the join button and support the channel. Now without further ado, hello awesome people, welcome to Phone Ops. my name is Kailash, let's get going. All right, so what do we have here? .OS version 5.2 unofficial Android 11 updated on the 22nd of September 2021. You have download instructions XD. I don't really see a change log over here. And always, whenever you go to Telegram, this 61 comment section is always a good place to start to see what people are experiencing with this particular ROM. But I'll tell you this, I installed this ROM and the moment I looked at it, I felt really, really special because they've done a really, really huge amount of work in order to get this as smooth and feature rich as it is right now. So today we will not focus much on performance, charging and all the daily aspects of it. But because our device has support officially for .OS 5.2, which means it should sooner or later come and it will come with a lot of bug fixes. We will talk about the customization, the gaming dashboard. But before we get into that, you can go to about phone and you do see that over here, it is laid out in a very, very systematic way. And if you click on Android 11, you will see that the device code name is Aloyth and the version of .OS is 5.2. This of course is Android 11 with the September security patch and the kernel that they're using is the Immensity kernel. And I don't know why the performance hit is there because Immensity kernel is known to perform pretty, pretty well. And it's really, really strange that we are having some performance issues, if not all. But that doesn't stop us from talking about the initial impressions of this ROM. So the moment you boot into this ROM, you're greeted with this sort of dot OS wallpaper, which looks more like Material U. If you swipe from the top to bottom, you will see that it is highly inspired by Android 12. And if you go to the edit menu over here, you will see that you have a ton of customization options. Now you have all the basic things that you would normally use, but you also have advanced things like invert colors, you have caffeine, you have heads up blocking option, you have the gaming mode. The gaming mode is a big highlight. We'll talk about that. You have compass, you have reboot, you have the storage option, and then you have live caption, mono audio, record video. That means with the open camera and with selfie. So they do have some interesting shortcuts here as well. And the moment you go into the expanded view, just see how organized this looks. And although this is not clickable, but you will see that the clock icon there and let's see here. Yeah, this part is not clickable, but this part is definitely clickable, which makes the experience even more smooth, subtle and special, right? Now you do have your Android 12 styled brightness slider over here. You can switch to automatic or manual mode, as you can see over here. And you have your settings shortcut, which works like a charm. Now moving on to the left, you do have the Google feed, which works really, really smooth. Apart from some instances wherein it is updating, you will see that it is cohesive, it is smooth. I've not had any issues at all, right? And the launcher itself is doing a great job. So if you go to home setting, you will see that it doesn't have a ton of customization, but it does have some basic customization that you can go ahead and use. Now, if you actually go to the recents, the recents are pretty, pretty smooth. Don't go by this score. I will do the score testing later. So you do have your Android 11 screenshot option over here. There you have it. And you can scroll to take a scrolling screenshot as well. And you have the option to edit. At the same time, you have the option to select the text and that works really, really great. Now, moving on, if we actually Go to the app drawer, you will see that .OS doesn't really boot with a lot of apps and that is something really, really neat. You will see that it comes with open camera, which does the job of taking basic pictures really, really well. You can go ahead and install the basic version of NX camera or a advanced XML version of Gcam, which will do 
the duties much much better you do have moto audio or dolby audio which works well so your stereo speakers are justified here and moving further if you actually go to settings that is where all the magic for dot os really really happens because you have things like customization and gaming dashboard so first let's go ahead and have a look at customization of dot os 5.2 now you do have a couple of options over here theme colorfulness as you can see system colors wallpaper colors and it changes real time right you have your option of a clock face on the lock screen somebody asked me how can you get this coding styled always on display here let's lock the phone and let's see there you go it works like a charm right so it's a built-in feature to most of the custom roms so you should be able to go ahead and use it so you have an option to customize your always on display lock screen you have launcher grid system font right just look at the amount of fonts that you have and they just adapt to your new look without even rebooting so that's great you have icon shapes and as i said i always like squircle icon pack you have a ton of different icon packs now just look at the way the dot os team has you know organized the customization menu itself and if you actually go to more settings you will see you have things organized in a very very different way for example if you go to system over here you do have a ton of options and this is highly inspired by android 12 which really really makes me feel good so you know hold to torch status bar brightness these are all system related things you have app locker as well and then you have your button customization you do have your quick settings customization over here and you have your status bar customization as well for example if you click here the percentage style is inside you click once again it is next to the icon quick setting style percentage enabled there you go you have it disabled you can go ahead and disable it as well left clock there you go click once again right so that works you can show seconds show traffic indicators show it in status bar as you can see so you do have a ton of customization available in dot os and that is something really really neat that is the reason this 5.2 version is really really exciting now if you actually go to the gaming dash dashboard you have enable gaming mode you have quick controls you have screenshot screen record do not disturb now if you will notice this really really looks like the android 12 esque gaming mode ringer gaming mode indication disable automatic brightness dynamic mode you can go ahead and add a game over here for example battlegrounds mobile india so you can directly remove it then so you know if you actually go ahead and launch battlegrounds mobile india you do see here this ui is completely the way it looks in android 12 although it doesn't have the live youtube option yet but you can go ahead and enable dnd you can enable screen recording which allows you to record internal and external audio and lower the quality show stop dot show touches on the screen so you know this is something pretty neat you can take a screenshot from here as well so you know all in all dot os 5.2 although in the unofficial version as well on this particular device the mi 11x is doing a splendid job i've not inserted my sim card i've not used it as a daily driver but the first impressions look really really good and i'm looking forward to the official version of dot os because it will be amazing to have android 12 look and features on android 11. let me know in the comment section what do you think about this video until the next one this is kalash signing off at phone ops keep smiling take care goodbye